Yep. All right. This is the first star we're going to be seeing competitive play. In my opinion, he's really good, and he's, I think he's the strongest top laner at the moment, and people seem to underrate him so hard. I think Nar is adorable. His Dino Nar skin chucks houses at the enemy, which is great. I feel like he's like a s secret OP. I think Nar is more time. I think she's really OP, but the problem is build. For sure, the next split, we're gonna see some Gnar. There's quite a few things you can look for to know when you can bring a champion into a scene. There's a bit of a build-up going up to uh, professional play because new champions aren't able to be played for up to four weeks, so by that time you have a rough idea whether the new champion is gonna be coming in immediately or not at all. You just see the potential in solo queue. That's the first step. You always play the new champion in solo queue. You can't cover every base competitively scrimming, but solo queue is that time when you can just kind of experiment and find stuff out on your own. Often you just need to play the champion a lot. You need to figure out what kind of team comps you can work around with him. After a while, teams usually figure out like the strengths of the champion. Braum was, uh, everyone thought he was not that great at start, but the more the time goes on, people recognize that Braum is actually insanely good. I don't think it's that hard to bring in a new champ. Uh, it's more like harder for the enemy if they're not prepared for what the champ actually can do. A lot of picks you'll be doing in scrims and you'll have confidence in scrims, but then again, teams play different in scrims. Your off-meta innovative pick could be working only because of that. You kind of just have to have a lot of faith and be like, I know what I'm talking about here and this is definitely a strong pick regardless of what happened in scrims. I would say surprise picks would not be something we want to do unless we're on the ropes. You can throw it out as kind of a curveball, and if it if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then just forget it. If I was the underdog, I would definitely just do the most random, ridiculous stuff and just try to win off that. If you're gonna bring out your sneaky plays, you bring it out in a game five, and Hecarim? Is that a mid Hecarim? Playing standard against a team that's better than you at standard, that probably won't work out. <laughs> 